Mandalorians. Volcanic here, and I'm going to do a review on Jaster Maria and Montross. I love these figures. Jaster Maria has a removable helmet. His head moves. He's got a removable backpack. Arms move here. Now up here they move in uh, three places. Here, and at the ball joint, and then another swivel up here. But this cord here does uh, make it hard for it to move, his arms move in and out. Now his swivel waist, as you can see, is weird. I don't know if it's my figure or what, but it's not centered, the brown. Oh, you have to turn him like sideways, sort of look another way to get him to go, even from there to there. Now his legs move up here, he does have swivel waist. These straps here kind of make it hard to push his leg out. And the same thing on this arm. He also comes with his gun. It's got that little detail. Now Montross, he comes with this gun. He moves at the ankles, bends at the knee. He also moves up. He's got a little bit more room to move his legs up and down, and he doesn't have any wires around his elbows, which makes it nice. So he's got the swivel in there, the only, but he, he has a wrist move. His helmet's removable. And his backpack is removable. I like these plastic uh, straps he has on the back of his belt case here. It's got really detailed soles. So it doesn't Jasper. Jasper Maria, Omar of Concord Don, died 52 BBY 17 BRS Corda 6. Species, human, gender, male, hair color, black, eye color, brown, eras. Rise of the Empire era. Affiliation Mandalorians, true Mandalorians. And his apprentice is Jango Fett. Montras died 32 BBY. Colma. Species human, gender male, hair color white, formerly was brown, eye color is brown. Eras, Rise, Rise of the Empire Era, Affiliation of Mandalorians, and True Mandalorians until 52 BBY. Around 60 BBY. 
Brule had attained the rank of Mandalore, the traditional leader of the Mandalorian clans. After Death Watch killed Jango Fett's family, Jaster Muriel took Jango Fett in and raised him as his own son, until Jaster Muriel's first in command, Montross, betrayed him, and then Jaster was killed by Vizsla. Boba Fett also recovered Muriel's armor, and he would wear Muriel's distinctive signal on his armor chestplate. The knowledge of the circumstances surrounding Muriel's betrayal and death would serve to keep Boba Fett wary for the years after, even in the presence of allies. Django would also use Jaster Muriel's name during his life and career as a bounty hunter as means of honoring his adopted father. Jango's clone son, Boba Fett, would do the same during his career as a bounty hunter, following his father's death by the Jedi Knight Mace Windu in the first battle of Genosis. The use of Muriel's name by both Jango Fett and Boba Fett would contribute to rumors that Muriel was still alive and operating years after his actual death. And some even believe that the inverse was true that Boba Fett was actually an alias being used by Muriel. Following Muriel's death, Mango took ownership of Muriel's personal starship and AIATI transport, which he would rename Jaster's legacy in Muriel's honor and the treasure for years to come. So what's wrong with being a mercenary? Is your war worth fighting? Is. Why does it matter who fights it for you? Aren't we imbued with the righteousness of the cause when we take up arms for you? Would you rather your own men and women died to make the point? And if your war is so noble, so necessary, why aren't you fighting it for yourself? Think of all this before you spit on us. Words from Jaster Maria. Subscribe you will, for see it, I do.